We continue the Maxwell House Good News program. Tonight, the MGM Theater of the Air is proud to present our famous comedian, Mr. Frank Morgan, in a serious drama. The lovers of the legitimate theater will recall Frank Morgan's early success on the Broadway stage, and we hope that his performance tonight with Miss Rita Johnson will be enjoyed by his Maxwell House friends. All names of characters used are fictitious. Meredith, may we have some curtain music, please? <laughs> The action takes place in one of the glamorous gaming casinos on the French Riviera. A fashionably dressed crowd has been following the changing fortunes of a beautiful girl whose daring play at the roulette has captured the admiration of all. After winning heavily, she has started to lose steadily. But as her losses mount, she coolly continues her play. Eight wins, and the beautiful blonde loses again. Well, that's a young fortune she's lost in the last half hour. But she's been a good sport about it, I'll say that for her. She's probably so rich she doesn't need it. I wonder who she is. Uh-oh. Looks like she's had enough now. No more tips, thank you. That'll be all for this evening. Good night. Good night. Faites bonjour, madame. Faites bonjour, monsieur. A most attractive young woman, eh? I wonder who she is. Uh, perhaps the croupier would know. Pardon, monsieur. That young woman who just left here, who is she? I do not know, monsieur. She has been here the last three evenings, always alone. Thank you. Vigneault, I should like a word with that young woman. Do you mind? I certainly do. That wasn't in our agreement. Oh, oh, come now. Be generous. You may follow me, if you wish, at a discreet distance. <clears throat> well, uh, all right, but uh, be discreet yourself. Oh, never fear. Mademoiselle, un moment, s'il vous plaît. Oui, monsieur? Mille pardon, mademoiselle. Je vous, je vous You'll en have prie. to speak English if you have anything to say to me, or have you? I beg your pardon, mademoiselle. I felt absolutely sure mademoiselle was Parisian. What is it, please? I'm leaving immediately. Well, this bag, mademoiselle, I saw you drop it as you left the table, so I took the liberty... Oh, no, you might have saved yourself the trouble. You see, it's quite empty. Yes, but the bag No, itself... I never want to see it again. Keep it if you like. Give it to your wife. And I hope it brings her better luck than it did me. But, mademoiselle, it happens that, unfortunately, I do not possess a wife. No matter. I don't care what you do with it. Throw it into the Mediterranean. I'm sorry the gods didn't smile on you this evening. Still, one must accept what they send, the evil along with the good. Oh. What was that? You're ill. No. No, I... I'm all right. Well, let me take you into the uh, air. A little walk, uh, perhaps, along the cliff. Yeah. It'll do you good. The cliff. Y y yes, that's what I want, but I prefer to go alone, thank you. As you wish, mademoiselle, of course. Au revoir. Au revoir. Ah, Vigneault, there you are, my faithful shadow. You see, your fears as to my intentions were groundless. <laughs> well, she didn't waste very much time on you. <laughs> Must be losing your touch. Come on, let's go back to the table. No, 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 not yet, Vigneault. I would like to continue the conversation with her outside. Mon Dieu, that's asking a little too much. Oh, come now, be a good fellow. Give me half hour to myself, just one half hour. I promise I won't compromise you, and you know I'm a man of my word. Mm. Just because of what happened 20 years ago in that dugout at Soissons, I act a sentimental fool tonight. <laughs> Go on, then, but remember your promise. Ah, uh, uh, good old Vigneault. Still faithful to his old lieutenant. Well, I'll see you in half an hour. Uh, one moment. What is it now, Vigneault? The lady has gone out this way. Why do you return to the gaming room? Well, I, uh, I have a premonition, a presentiment, Vigneault. But I won't be long. You'll have no regrets, old friend. A bientôt. Mademoiselle, oh. be careful. It's dangerous oh. on the edge of this cliff. In fact, all cliffs are dangerous. Let me go. You have no right to stop me. Well, perhaps not, but I can't permit such a no. charming girl to... Who are you? Oh. Oh, you're the gentleman who spoke to me at the casino. Yes, I had that honor, mademoiselle. Did you follow me here? Yes, mademoiselle. I saw the look in your eyes. I've seen that look before. I know what it means. Let me go. It's my own life. No, I... mademoiselle, forgive me. I shall be compelled to hold you fast until you're sane again. Oh. Overwrought nerves play strange tricks. You'll see things differently tomorrow. And there won't be any tomorrow for me. Oh, there'll be many tomorrows, mademoiselle, and happy ones. And how can you say that? You don't know anything about this. Well, I know something about life. 
I know that things can't be quite hopeless when one is so young and so beautiful. Why should you seek to destroy yourself for a few francs? Oh, it isn't only the loss of the money. It's the thought of what's ahead. Humiliation. Disgrace. Yes, well, tell me all about it, Mademoiselle. Come. Let me get you a glass of sherry and a sandwich. There's nothing like a little refreshment to buy up the spirit. No. No, thanks. I couldn't. I, I wouldn't be seen in public looking like this. My eyes are all swollen and my nose shining like a lamppost. <laughs> well, now, that's much better. As soon as the lady begins to think of her powder puff, the crisis has passed. <laughs> well, I, don't, I don't know why I should unload my troubles on you. No, 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 my dear. My shoulders are broad. I take it that you support yourself in business. Uh, secretary, perhaps? No, no, I'm a fashion model. That explains this costume and my troubles. No. You see, for so long I wore fine clothes, jewels, furs for fashionable, spoiled women who treated me as if I were wax. I envied them. I hated them. Yes, I quite understand. So I saved for months until I had enough money to give myself a taste of the life they lived. And you didn't find it so delectable as you'd imagined. On the contrary, I loved every minute of it. You know, I I hoped that I'd meet some rich man here on the Riviera. He'd fall in love with me, marry me, and I could have things the way I'd always wanted them. Yeah, well, that happens, I'm afraid, only in the make-believe. Things would have been all right if I hadn't started to gamble. The rest I simply couldn't lose. And my luck changed. I began losing steadily. Hmm. I was desperate. I had to do something. Yes, and so you forged. How did you know? Well, one such step naturally leads to the next. Yes, I forged my employer's name on a check. They gave me the money without a question. You know the rest. It's not a new story, mademoiselle. Well, now you see why I can't go home. I can't pay them back. There's nothing I can do. But one mistake need not necessarily mean disaster. Surely there must be some way out. I wish with all my heart that I might be of assistance, mademoiselle. But unfortunately, I'm leaving France in just a few hours. Uh, leaving France? You, you mean forever? Well, for a long, long time, that's certain. Oh, if I could only get away from this place, it would be my salvation. Uh, where are you going? To a far distant colony, to the other end of the earth. Then if you really want to help me, take me with you. My child, that's utterly impossible. Well, I don't see why. I wouldn't be a bit of trouble. I'm very clever, really. I can cook and sew. Mademoiselle, the idea is fantastic. You don't even know my name. I don't care. I know that you're kind and sympathetic. You told me you weren't married. I'd make a good wife to you. A wife? Well, that's an intriguing thought. But the place where I'm going isn't very pleasant. There's heat and sometimes pestilence, no comforts, no conveniences. I can stand it if you can. But I'm going only because my business had made it necessary. But you, my dear, you die of loneliness. Not if you were there. Really? You know, that's the nicest thing anyone has said to me in years. No, but it's impossible. You'll go back to England, back to your modeling, and someday you'll marry a fine English boy. I can't go back. I haven't any money. But I'll let you have some money. Oh, I, I couldn't take it from you, a perfect stranger. A moment ago, you were ready to marry me. Well, that was different. I... Perhaps to an English woman. Now, uh, tell me, how much do you need? I'm ashamed to tell you. It would take 6,000 francs. Yes, well, that's not so much. I have quite a bit of currency with me. Suppose I let you have 10,000 francs. 10,000? Oh, 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 no, I, I couldn't take it. Oh, don't be foolish. You're a businesswoman. It'll be a loan. You'd let me pay you back. Why not? See, here, here's my notebook. I'll make out an IOU, all right and proper. Now, and you'll sign. Will that satisfy you? Well, I... I well, no. sign. So, Miss Joan Weston. Believe me, I'll pay you back, and I can't tell you how grateful I am. Oh, it's nothing. Now, uh, well, who who are you? To whom shall I send the money? Have you ever heard of Frederick Truel? Truel? The famous banker? Yes, you see, you needn't hesitate. 10,000 francs is so much confetti to Frederick Truel, they'll never serve a better purpose than tonight. Oh, how good you are. You know you've given me back my hope and self-respect. And if it weren't for you, I'd be down there at the bottom of that cliff. No, 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 don't think of that. Or if you do, think of it as a bad dream, a nightmare. Too much lobster and champagne, eh? I'll try. <laughs> yes. 
There's, uh, there's one thing you must promise me. No more forging. Never. Mm-hmm. I don't see how I ever did such a thing. I must have been mad. You were, but now you're sane again. And you mustn't forget your lesson. Never. And now, my dear, I really must leave you. I have an important engagement. Au revoir. And the best of luck. Could I kiss you goodbye? Put certainly. That'll be something to cherish in the memory. Mademoiselle, your hand. I salute you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Mm-hmm.